Welcome to Hangover Reviews. Today, since it's Comic Con weekend and the new Batman v Superman Breakfast of Champions trailer came out, I thought I'd compare Man of Steel to Batman Begins. I'm also just going to spoil them, so you've had your warning. Batman Begins is a 2005 movie from Christopher Nolan. It stars Christian Bale as Batman and kicked off the very well received Dark Knight trilogy. This is a well directed, well scripted piece with bang on casting. Put Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine and Gary Oldman in a film together and I will watch it. Even if it's like Tiptoes 2, Tiptoe to the Streets or something. I'll watch it. Something I think works really well in this film is it's an hour before you see Batman. It builds up to it really well and it's never boring. I'm just going to rattle through some of my criticisms here. I don't think the love interest is necessary and I think Katie Holmes gives the weakest performance in this film. Dodgy haircuts. Other than the monorail, Gotham looks like it could be any American city. I want big crazy statues and old creepy buildings with gargoyles on them. I don't think the maitre d' had the authority to sell that hotel. The voice is stupid if he's saying anything that is longer than three syllables. The monorail follows the water mains to the central hub underneath Wayne Tower. I really hate that I don't have to save you but you do have to save him. You're Batman, that's what you do. Also, you engineered the situation in which he dies, and then forced him into it. That's murder in anybody's court. This film gets pretty emotional right from the start, so be prepared for that. It's also very dark and gloomy, obviously. The fear toxin effect is really vomit inducing, so you need to look away from that. I can't really recommend this for a hangover view and it made me feel sick and sad. Man of Steel is a 2013 movie from Zack Snyder starring Henry Cavill as Superman. If the first 20 minutes of this were a standalone short movie, it would be my favourite short movie of all time. Maybe second. I really like Kong Fury. The whole Krypton sequence starring Russell Crowe as Jor-El is amazing. The design of all the Kryptonian stuff is gorgeous. Just don't think too much about why a middle-aged scientist can beat up several soldiers at a time. After that it gets into Clark Kent's early life and I really enjoyed that section too. It sets up the character really well and we do get a sense of how this young man could become the world's greatest hero. Oddly enough it only starts to fall apart when he becomes Superman. That's when it gets a little drawn out. I still enjoyed it, but it just didn't live up to the earlier parts of the film. Here's some more things I didn't like. The Christ analogies were a little heavy handed. Pretending to be Superman there, I just knocked over a Lego Lex Luthor and broke it. Jonathan Kent's death is ridiculous. I'm not even going to get into that, you know why. The final battle is just two super powered guys just smashing through buildings with no regard for human life. That's not very Superman. He pretty much tells everyone who he is. Here's a couple more things I did like. I thought they hit the right tone for a Superman movie. It was serious, but hopeful. They do some really interesting things with his powers in the fight scenes especially the Smallville one. I'm actually more okay with how the villain is dispatched in this one than I was in Batman Begins. I know a lot of people aren't. I felt they really made it clear that that was something he did not want to do. You can tell because he went like this. No! This movie starts off with a very painful looking birth. Yeah, I forgot about that too. There's a lot of shaky cam right from the get-go. And it is loud all the way through. Loud. There's a lot of very intensely emotional scenes too. I can't really recommend this one for a hangover either. Mostly because of the shaky cam and the loudness. It's loud. Like I said, I really wouldn't recommend either. Guess I'll give it to Man of Steel because it's not as dark. But if you still want to watch a Batman or a Superman movie, check out my reviews of Superman the movie and the 1966 Batman movie. They are much more suitable. Okay, that's the review for this week. If you have a suggestion for something I can review, either leave it in the comments or tweet me at Hangover Reviews. Subscribe for a new video every Sunday. Have a super hangover. Have I done that joke before? Have a bat hangover. That doesn't work. Have a good hangover.